सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल सो गाइज टूडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू रिव्यू डेट पूल एंड वुलवरिंग सो आई नो दैट दिस मूवी इज़ रिलीज इट हैज़ बिन टू मंथ्स आई थिंक इट हैज़ बिन रिलीज मे बी नॉट टू मंथ बट वन मंथ एंड आई हैड सीन दिस मूवी वेन इट वॉज रिलीज बट ऑन दैट टाइम आई वॉज नॉट एबल टू मेक द वीडियो बट गाइज फाइनली आई एम मेकिंग द मूवी रिव्यू वीडियो of deadpool and wolverine so now let's start so actually this movie has crossed recently avengers first movie's box office collection and that's very nice and after so much time seriously after 2021 marvel has released a awesome movie means the last time we saw a awesome movie from marvel that was spider-man no way home obviously in 2021 other then that after that only means if i am talking about the movies all flopped means the marvels doctor strange multiverse of madness and thor love and thunder that all flopped but uh, after so much time now finally marvel is back so today let's review our deadpool and wolverine so first of all if i talk about the story guys then actually the story is started from deadpool 2 when deadpool had uh, killed cable and stole the time watch of cable and then with the use of it he reached our marvel cinematic universe where he met happy hogan and he reached in the timeline of 2018 and on that scene we saw many iron man references and iron man suits also and after that when he returns home he makes a little change on the in in the time and because of this time change the tva means if you have seen the loki series you know that captured deadpool and told that they told the theory of anchor being means there are anchor beings in every universes and if that anchor being dies then after that that universe will also start erasing and the anchor being of deadpool universe was wolverine that was logan so he was tasked to go and uh, see a wolverine and take out a wolverine so he went to the multiverse and then he captured huge jackman wolverine means not the previous earlier movies means that was the actor was same but that wolverine was completely dif- uh, different timeline from the from the completely different timeline so uh, in this movie this was, was only in and after that cassandra nova who was the main villain of this movie and uh, in this movie we also saw x men characters fantastic four characters also so this is the actually the main story and at the end wolverine and deadpool will team up and at the end of the movie the that wolverine that from the alternate timeline a uh, huge jackman that wolverine comes to the deadpool timeline and then the movie ends so if i talk about the positives then this movie is really best first of all the best positive thing is that the r ratedness means not like thor love and thunder that was means only comedy and comedy it's a uh, type of r rated means not a type it's r rated actually it has many blood scenes and that are actually good because deadpool is r rated character he's neither a hero nor a villain and means uh, ranels also means really great actor his acting was also nice everyone's acting was nice only and otherwise the cameo scenes are very much means i was really shocked by these two cameo scenes that was first happy hogan cameo scene and yaar i hope that in this scene we could see a tony stark yaar and on that we also saw some iron man items like mark 2 helmet mark 5 armor suitcase uh, and also iron man 2 iron man mask and also a lot of things and the second cameo was of our chris evans human torch mean seriously guys i only liked the fantastic four 2005 the 2015 one was seriously a mess and i am a big fan of the fantastic four cast of 2005 movie 
I have seen only so I was really shocked. I was really means I was seriously very happy by seeing back our OG Fantastic Four Human Torch. But after a little bit time only, he was killed by Cassandra Nova and by Deadpool actually. But guys, overall the cameos are very nice. There are a lot of cameos. Means the best scene I thought saw when at the end of the movie, almost at the climax battle. when deadpool and wolverine team ups and means all the deadpool cops come and fight that scene was actually good actually good yeah so this is the main good thing and je, if i talk about the and it's actually what we wanted the fans wanted and next we were to go over some negatives then uh it's one of the best movies definitely marvel but i saw this weakness in this movie that is the plot means the story the story has not that much strength means if you will notice the cameos then it's good but actually if you will notice the story then that doesn't means story is good but not that much strong story this movie has and also this movie have a lot of means seriously guys means if i talk about the anchor being concept then see anchor being according to the movie uh, was all is or maybe a human obviously that because logan was actually a human but after that he became uh, a superhero but if ank because of that anchor being only the universe was been saved always then when the anchor being was not even born then what happened to the universe and obviously one time the anchor will will die definitely so on that time it will all, always erase right so it's a plot hole and otherwise the second plot hole that is making me very much means what i say nothing to say that is you guys know that in the beginning only means when he meets happy hogan then how he meet happy hogan yaar because deadpool timeline is in sony that another universe and marvel cinematic universe is another universe first of all tell me who told deadpool about the avengers and second thing that the blade's time watch was only a time travel watch means deadpool can time um, travel back in time and means time travel can be done but how he traveled it means used it as a universe travel machine means he went to 2018 in completely different universe only so how it's possible so it's a plot hole i think and these plot holes means seriously make no sense and these i think a very big negative point of this movie otherwise this movie is actually dope and i if i talk about the rating then i would want to give it 9 out of 10 stars overall one of the best but because of the big big plot holes i'm cutting the one star otherwise 9 out of 10 for this movie so now we'll meet in the next video i hope you have enjoyed the video and bye bye